Hey guys, welcome to the new midweek, mid, midweek, midweek series, Cyberpunk 2077, and I know what you're going to say, hey, didn't you do this, like, earlier in the, um, you know, I've already done this, well, to that I say, there's two reasons, one, the Cyberpunk anime, and two, in a couple of months, the first expansion is going to come out. So, that's... These are two very good reasons. To go back into this game. And I'm pretty sure no one else is, like, doing a um, playthrough. Well, not the ones that I'm following, at least. And I follow, like... How many YouTube channels do I follow? I, like, follow, like, a lot. Like, a hundred... Over a hundred. So, um... Yeah. If you're uh, interested in Cyberpunk 2077, I have a previous playthrough that you can go and look up. But watch this one first. Because, you know, this one's going to be more, you know, relevant to your interests first. And, uh, yeah. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you like this kind of thing. Also like the video. Also share it around to your friends. Anyway. Let's fucking have a new game. Let's do it out normal, because I'm not a masochist, and this game doesn't really handle, uh, what do you call it, um, difficulty that well. Nomad was my first playthrough. Street Kid I'm doing on my Twitch right now, and Corpo is the one I haven't shared in the, um, publicly yet, so let's do this one, shall we? I mean, I played as a uh, guy last one, so let's play as a woman, shall we? I have to say, digging this fucking um, eye makeup, so I think we'll leave that. We're still feminine, yeah? Skin tone? Uh, let's take a look. Super dark. Uh, can I have like dark but not? Yeah, I think I like that actually. Skin type. I love how it only like modifies her like her face. Yeah, skin type. It only applies to your face. Anyway. Yeah, let's go for... I mean, she's a cool, but she needs to have, like, you know, absolutely clear skin. You know, very subtle cyberwear. And classic. So, we need to have those, um... Ear, um, earrings out. I like the hair color as well. It's like, um... Can you not... I forgot how to scroll, actually. Well, I do know how to scroll. It's um, Q and E rotate, but I think I've modified the actual um, uh, interact key, so E actually just gets you to the next tab, so. Eyes. I like big eyes. Oh, she actually looks badass like that. Looks like narrow eyes. Yeah, hard. Hard eyes. Shouldn't really have these kinds of, um... Oh, actually, that's a pretty good, um...
uh, interpretation because these, I think, if you look closely, they're actually branded Arasaka. So that's kind of cool, isn't it? Those are my last um, players. Um, just dark pits of despair. I kind of like that. I feel like um, businessmen would like, you know, to get these kinds of implants so you don't know where they're looking. That's how they get you. Eyebrows, yeah, I, like, I kind of like the hard eyebrows. Yeah, like these kinds of ones. Not the thick one. No, not the soft ones. Yeah, the ones that like turn inwards. Apparently, you can turn off eyebrows. Yeah, like one. One's good. Uh, eyebrow color, that's fine. Jawline's fine. Ears, facial stars, tattoos, piercings. So we have like, you know, more refined piercings. That, that, that looks good. Though I think we'll change the color. Something like... Yeah, to match my eyes and my lips. There we go. Eye makeup. That's pretty am um, good. Makeup color, yeah. Makeup style default. Let's let's have a little bit of a yeah. Makeup off. I'm just off. No so long. Nails. Or maybe this one. Yeah, that way it matches my eyeshadow and... Yeah. Okay. Oh! Oh, yeah. I meant to um tell you guys. I'm playing with mods. <laughs> and I forgot to turn this one off. <laughs> this, like, um, this one is, um, I'll probably, um, link all the mods I'm using in the description. If I can. But, um, this one changes the level cap. Uh, level cap, you can change the level cap, you can change the attribute points, which I've done here, and there's one other thing you can change, anyone. And no, I haven't got the one that lets you um, fly your cars around. That relies on way too many like dependencies, so I'm unsure of installing that. Anyway, now... What I want to do with this character is I want to do like a max critical build. Critical with pistols. I mean, critical doesn't work with any fucking weapon, but I like pistols because, well, to be honest, one of the best weapons in the game is a pistol. So, um, body is, yeah. Yeah, that's health, stamina, damage with melee weapons, gorilla arms, decrease movement penalty while grappling an enemy, increase possible movement duration while grappling an enemy. Oh, didn't know that was a thing. Uh, intelligence, that's quick deck. I'm doing that uh, type of build on my Twitch account. Reflexes, here we go. This is what we want. Tech ability. Yeah, sure, this can be dump set as well. And cool as well, just to get him. 
Uh, yeah, let's do it. Up to 10. This is so overpowered. <laughs> I'm gonna be so OP, what the fuck? That's literally half the, like, the, the top. Oh, Jesus. Why did I, why did I do this? I don't know. If you leave the corporal world with their lives, if you were still with their souls intact, you've been there. You've the rules, exploited secrets, and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game. Only winners and losers. Now, there is a... Little easter egg here. If you double click the um, fingerprint. Oh, what was that? Oh shit. I guess we'll see. V, you there? Yeah, hey, Jackie. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm here. You all right? <clears throat> Fine. <clears throat> I just needed a breather. Sounded like you blew your guts airlock. Uh, yeah, I barfed. It's just stress. I forgot to change my um <sighs> a jump out through, um, hair. Oh well. We had a leak. My boss called, dragged me in because we had to intervene. Excuse Everyone me? Everyone at Night City HQ is on edge. But no way you're fucked, right? You're the one who fixes other people's shit. Jackie, if you work in Arasaka Counter Intel, you're always fucked. Listen, gotta go. The work won't do itself. Buena suerte. Hang on. Do you guys see that? It's like a slight fish eye. Is that a... Is that like a graphics thing? Or a video thing? I don't know what the hell's going on. Hmm. Must be one of these. Let's turn off that one. And that's fair, I like depth of field. Take a leave. Lens flare is good. Uh what the fuck? That was another mod. <laughs> uh Cyber Engine tweaks that like handles it's like got a lot of back end for like most other mods, so if you want to mod Cyberpunk uh, you kind of need to get that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's click apply. Uh, let's do, 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 do. In fact, I might just click everything on. The only reason it's not, like, on Ultra is because I usually play with, um, or I wanted to play with, like, you know, max ray tracing and shit. Because I've got like an uh, RTX 39, uh, 3080. So. Flex. <laughs> uh, let me just show you the, well, the only other mo Yeah, that's, that's the one that we have. Level cap 50, signing attribute points 15. That is way too high. 10. Max signing attribute 12. That should be down as well. 10. 
and Demon Netrunning. This is uh, it like uh, let me see if I remember. It like adds uh, quick hacks uh, when there's um, when there's uh, like an equivalent of um, a demon. So, um, yeah, you can get, like, System Reset, Quick Axe, Suicide Quick Axe, Cyber Psychosis Quick Axe. I'm going to turn this one off because I don't really like it. Uh, length of required Preach Protocol input. Uh, chance of Cyber Psychosis will trigger from a demon. Can I, like, turn this off? Or can I not? Uh, yeah. Oh. Get back. Okay. That was done. Yes? You want something? Fine. Yeah, bitch. I could fire you. Oh. I forgot that I don't have, um, tab considering it's this early in the game. I don't have the actual, um, thing. Holy fuck. Prologue. Dude. What's up here? I've actually looked. Locked door. Locked door. Locked door. Uh, which one? Which one's... fuck. I've gotten the bloody controls already. I've already played this game for... How many bloody... Walking is why? Okay. There we go. Lucky soup division effectively secures a corporate summit in Jakarta, foiling forty five plots to attack and sell. What am I? Yeah, yeah, I look fucking good. It's kind of weird that I don't have a um, I need to have like a uh, tie, I feel like. Oh. Christ, you were supposed to be here an hour ago. I know, I know. Got held up, but I'll be right there. Fucking Frankfurt. That Abernathy bitch will probably dump it in our laps. Yeah. Ugh, hanging up. I'll be in my office. And you hurry up. 865 calories below optimal. Wait, what are calories again? I can't remember. You. Militech hit three of ours. Now we're evacuating responsibility for this part two. What's the status? Full scale. Very suggestive. A tragic accident in the East Asian Pacific. Mr. Jenkins asked for you. 
keys in his office. Thank you very much. Ah, here we go. Little bit of a uh, spoiler. Well, it's not spoiler. It's just. Well, now I've said it's spo. Fuck! I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. In many ways, the story of your noble Arasaka resembles an ancient parable. The younger son of one of the world, modern world's most powerful CEOs renounces his heritage for Fetz's birth. The little. Forfeits his birthright and instead chooses a rough and tumble life on the streets of Tokyo, only to later scamper back home to the warm, sheltered bosom of his family with his tail tucked. At least that is the story most of pieced together from official sources. But why did Yorinobu betray his father in the first place? Why did he return? For several years I dug deeper, followed leads, reached out to his former friends and acquaintances. Slowly I began to unearth answers to some of the public's most burning questions. Yorinobu was born in Tokyo in the early 21st century, the first child to Saburo Arasaka's third wife, Michiko. By all accounts, he seemed a happy child and grew to become a pleasant young man. That is, until his graduation from the University of Tokyo at the age of 21. Following the ceremony, the Arasaka family threw a party in his honor. At some point in the evening, Saburo invited his son to study for a private conversation. What transpired there is wholly unknown, but after collaborating in varied accounts, it is clear Yorinobu must have slipped out from the party and the estate only a few hours later. Gone. A whisper in the night. Over the next few years, various eyewitnesses spotted Yorinobu in the company of a nomad group known as the Kotsetsu no Ryo, or the Steel Dragons. And it's such a... <sighs> I'm struggling to find the word here. <sighs> pretentious. That's it. Pretentious. As part of his useful rebellion, he purposefully involved himself in altercations with Arasaka agents and promoted anti-corporate slogans. After his family eventually confirmed the Oranobu's involvement, Saburo renounced his son, and Kai, Saburo's eldest son, swore to exact revenge on his younger brother. So far, so, um... Damn it, I used to know the, um, what is it called? The, um, Japanese notion of honor. Is it just honor? It's supposed to be, uh, I don't know. Ironically, it was later at Kai's funeral. Or Kai's. Kai. K. I think it's Kai. Yeah. Kai's funeral that your noble last week in Sao with his father. Stubbornly proud to a fault, many were surprised by the Arasaka Patriarch's a conciliatory approach. What caused Saburo to change his mind? Where we all might have your noble sister, Hanako, playing their pen peaceable reunion. That much yet remains to be discovered. Remember the name, uh, Hanako. She comes up later in the story. Hmm. It's actually an open... This Look at this guy, he's reading a book. Pretentious. I mean, that can be. Hey, V. It's been ages. Oh, hey. It's you. Me, Frank. We met during Icefall. Of course, Frank. Coast, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. How you been? I didn't know you were in Night City. How have you been? Ah, uh, you know how it is. A week ago, I was still in Cape Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard your encounter intel. Mm. Must have a shit show on your hands right now after Frankfurt. A little bit. Jenkins is your lead, right? Is he what everyone says he is? Uh, what are people saying about him? What does everyone say about Jenkins? That he's effective, like any psychopath. Mm. Apparently, he's gone a little crazier lately. Hey, he's in a tough spot. The director was supposed to greenlight his promotion when the Japanese arrived. She stabbed him in the back instead. Well, am I defending my boss so forthrightly? I don't know. 
Who do you work under? <laughs> and you? Who do you work under? <laughs> Abernathy. She's really good. Came up with the whole Cape Town ploy on her own. Abernathy. The bitch who burned my boss on the promotion to Spec Ops Director. You know how it is. Things happen. Yeah, apparently. Mm. They do indeed. Alright. Uh... Tell me about the op in Cape Town. Operation Cargo. You know about it? Vaguely. Arming local conflicts in Africa. I didn't know that was you. <laughs> it was me. We dumped crates full of rifles into the ocean. They had to be pulled out using borrowed fishing boats. Same old circus, but hey, that's how wars are won. Indeed. Um, I'm need a run, so good luck on your stuff, eh? Listen, sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush right now. We'll talk another time, okay? Sure, sure. Good seeing you again. I like this um kind of start because um as we'll see later, this kind of like punctuates a little bit of um well things that happen in the um, main uh, story. The main quest is definitely. Very much tied to Arasaka, as you see later on. Emergency protocols active. System security confirmed. Where's my office? It's like something in my office. What's my fucking I have an office somewhere around here that I can't remember where it is. Is it around here? No. Look at the windows. No one needs windows. Fuck that. Oh, here we go. Here's my office. I need your stamp on something. It's yeah, yep. possible one of our assets was exposed. <sighs> this is Frankfurt, right? Is it Frankfurt again? No, different issue. Local. Tell me, quick version. Our agent at Biotechnica suspects they might be on to him. They recently granted him red security clearance. That's top. He's been fishing for dirt, but it's been slow. Your point. They're clean. Like we run orphanages clean. Bleach server clean. We suspect they flagged him and are feeding him phony data. Should we green light Xville or let him keep looking? Pull them out. Pull them out, but calmly. Don't raise any eyebrows. Otherwise, they'll catch on. Jenkins will be livid. I'll handle Jenkins. Understood. I have absolutely no idea if that um actually uh, impacts the story or not, but apparently it does. Sea of Clouds. Mare Nubium. Let Sea of Clouds, Luna Mare on the near side of the moon. Selenographic boundaries. Minus one eleven point eight five degrees north, minus thirty point four eight degrees south, minus forty five point four five degrees east, minus twenty nine point two seven uh, degrees west center. Uh, minus 20.59 degrees north, minus 17.29 degrees east. Economic significance negligible, composed primarily of research facilities serving as cover for more complex operations. Technical significance high. Mare Nubium is uh, based in a block clinics, black clinics, essential for research into innovative and experimental technologies. Logistical significance moderate, located in relative pro close proximity to Oceanus. 
Procellarum, the location of the Western Mass Driver. We have mass drivers on the moon? I mean... Fair enough, okay. Sit down. Let's a little bit of a vacation with the stars. I think Silent, Morocco, <laughs> Crystal Palace. Once in a lifetime opportunity to book an Earth View apartment along with a cosmically gargantuan selection of vouchers for any of our award winning restaurants. Last previous week's results from quantified Satori. Your biotide indicators are reading abnormally high levels of cortisol, uh, catecholamine, and adrenaline persist from previous results. Hormone blocker usage is prescribed for only two weeks before requiring a baseline reset, but your usage is considered beyond three weeks. Recommendation meet with your trainer to prepare a recovery plan. Fuck off. Postmortem. Operation Wormy Apple. Meaning of the Department of Operational Oversight Committee finds as follows regarding Operation Wormy Apple. The operation was executed without following proper procedure, thus putting agent lives and more importantly, company regulation in jeopardy. The operation's success is due solely to the fact that Petrochem committed errors that proved more costly than our own. All personnel involved in planning the operation will be subject to an internal audit. We find the arrest of the prior contact caused toxin-induced cardiac arrest, a direct result of poor planning. Required action, investigate all stages of operation planning from reconnaissance to implementation with the aim of isolating irregularities in procedure and or judgment. New space. New space in our night city headquarters. Scientists meticulously curated with authentic rainforest flora and fauna in designing our very own experiments with self-sustaining ecosystem. More details coming soon. Huh. Interesting. Close. So there's a um little bit of a Easter egg here. <laughs> Let's have a cognitive boost. Whatever the fuck that does. Drugs. Uh let's Pick up the trauma team card. Alright. Stand up. Why is it reset? I should remember. Okay, let's go. Please enter the antechamber. Granted. Are you online? Have a seat, V. Be right with you. Thank you. We have to handle this voting issue before we lose our bases in the sea of clouds. They're about to begin. What's the situation? Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, just as we thought. You know what to do. Start now. <sighs> Director Abernathy. I watched the vote. What the hell was that? A deep clean after the shit Frankfurt dumped on us. As we agreed, I got rid of the problem. You to resolve the problem, not massacre the European Space Council. Do you understand what the cover up will cost? We would have lost the license, now we gained a week. That's a win. Path of least resistance, always. No nuance has you written all over it. We're not done talking about this. Mm hmm. I hate that bitch. I always have. First time she fucked you? This isn't the first time Abernathy set you up. 
No, not the first. Hmm. Smeared me in front of Japanese execs, so she'd be the one promoted to director of spec ops. Cunt. Oh, walk. Fucking now hell. she's holding a gun to my head to make sure I don't try anything. But she won't pull the trigger because she needs it. I do what she doesn't have the guts to do. Divide and conquer. Effective strategy. <laughs> Effective. What would you do in my position? I think you need to defend yourself, sir. You have to defend yourself. Remind Abernathy you're not her doormat. You're right. Smack her once, but hard. She'll respect you. Seems we see eye to eye on this issue. Take this. Oh yeah? Shook. It's what I've collected over the past weeks. Biometrics, trauma team card, names of her closest associates, driver, chief of security, lover. Lover's husband. Everything. Use it and make sure Abernathy won't be a problem anymore. You said it. I need to defend myself. And if I refuse? What'll happen if I refuse? Don't ask stupid questions. This isn't a request, V. We seem to understand each other. Take this, too. Friendship transactions are traceable. Paper disappears as soon as you spend it. What can I say? Use this money only. Find the right people for the job. No corporate affiliation. And for the core task, grand. use someone you know inside out. Are we clear? Yeah. We're clear. we're clear. Good. In that case, I'll await your report. And good luck with it. I have my AV waiting outside. It's yours to use. Thank you. And don't disappoint me. All right. Jenkins, Night City Tunnel. I need an analysis of the legislative procedures for dealing with a lot. All right. I think we'll um, leave it there for today. Now, as a bit of a reminder, this will be our new midweek series. So, yeah. Hope you like RPGs. You're gonna be saddled with a lot. Anyway, if that's the thing you're into, please like and subscribe. That will really help me out a lot. Anyway. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I am Purist. Signing off.